weird, interesting video courtesy of Link Up TV featuring Stormzy gifting Santan Dave, man like Dave who just dropped one of the best albums actually of the year from a UK artist and allegedly sold already 75,000 um, records in the first week, which is flipping insane. But allegedly he gifted Dave an AP watch, Repolia 101. And Dave had a very interesting reaction to receiving the watch, which I'm going to play for you now. Not that incredible, really. It's always a bit interesting and weird, isn't it, when you see really successful rich people gift each other really expensive items and then pretend to be shocked or be taken aback by a really expensive gift that they could effectively buy for themselves. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not really that au fair with watches. I don't really know my watches too well. I don't obviously wear one myself. Um, or I'd, I'd imagine an AP is probably worth a lot of money. Maybe it's close to a million, whatever it may be. But, you know, Dave is a superstar. He's one of our most well-known artists here in the UK. Definitely somebody that could tour, you know, big arenas or big venues here in the UK. Could probably do a good enough, a good, decent numbers of tickets in Europe. Um, definitely somebody that's got a little bit of a... Um, of a foot store in North America in terms of the stuff that obviously he's done with other artists out there too. So he's somebody of, of a good standing who we'd imagine could afford such a watch. And even if he couldn't, it's just interesting. I think or kind of funny and strange that somebody who, you know, Dave is what, let's say mid twenties. Um, I'd imagine he's probably only known of APs and Odemars and watches or whatnot because of the wealth he's ascertained. Because the only reason why I know of it as a listener is because I hear all my favorite rappers talking about APs, right? The more wealth they attain, the more access they get, the more different you know places that they kind of introduced to, the more their tastes are refined and you kind of get to see them talk about different things in their lyrics. And over time, the consumer gets to learn about different brands and then the brands obviously get a bit of exposure and hype and then they probably link up to do collaborations. And it's a kind of, you know, it's a it's a really symbiotic relationship in that respect. So you'd imagine that Dave only really knew of APs because he became a successful rapper. Uh, so it's not as if like it's like a deep lying love that like, he's had from when he was like 12 or 13 right he's always wanted an ap uh, unless he is a watch guy i don't know maybe he was kind of reading hudinki back when he was in flipping secondary school but it's just funny that these brands have such a pull have such a kind of hold on people that in the span of what a couple of years he's got to a point of where he didn't know what an ap was to where he's screaming covering his hand right and really kind of ecstatic and you know lost for words because one of his best friends in music decided to give him an ap watch and again best friend in music you know best friend because you know if you if he was a bum rapper i don't think storms he would really be a good friends with him in general but it's just an interesting reaction i think we saw the same thing with um when um the rappers tried to buy what did they buy is it robert Kraft or someone one of these rich american uh, american football basketball owner type guys and they, they bought him like a car or something it was like dude he could probably buy that on ebay himself you know in a couple of clicks do you know what i mean it's not really that impressive but you know i guess when you're a friend of somebody and you do believe in the art of gift taking you have to kind of try and attempt to make something new and whatever and of course this is probably this looks like one of those brand deal events because they've got like a massive ap ornament thing toy whatever thing next to them so probably you know there's a whole deal in tie with it i don't really know what happened but it's just interesting as a reaction to have somebody that effectively probably only known of watches of that extent of that level in the last two years maybe three maybe four maybe five get this excited over having that it's just very very interesting um <laughs> stay with affairs big up everybody in there too you know awkwardly looking on as one guy hands another guy a multi-million dollar watch and you're just standing there with your casio you know or with your because that's a funny bit as well really, the, the the juxtaposition of all this stuff for sure there was somebody in that crowd at that album release party or whatever they were at, i don't know what they were doing there's probably someone in the audience that had a minus on their account somebody in the audience was probably you know questioning how they're going to get home somebody that probably just had enough eggs to survive for the week somebody that's just 
got fired somebody that is working you know minimum wage there's definitely people that exist in that room but then there's also somebody next to you kind of passing watches like this is gifts so it could be twofold it could be motivating it could make you want to strive and succeed and go for the things that you want to go for or it could be debilitatingly depressing <laughs> to see people far younger than you exchange these gifts quote unquote that are you know that would effectively pay for your life and make you retire tomorrow if if need be it's just a funny thing to see but maybe it's good kind of um karma coming back to dave in it because the other day he was giving out jordans the other day he gave some kid a rolex right do you know what i mean and this is now coming back to him you know press down shaking all together and then he got the 75k first week sales on his album it's all well and good but like i said it's just funny to see somebody who just learned about this thing recently because they're rich then become really excited to the point where they're covering their mouth and giggling and kind of hysterically kind of screeching like a girl um but then again you know i'm sure if one of my best friends bought me a million dollar watch i probably might have the same um response to it maybe because in the back of my head i'll be thinking hey i'm gonna sell this <laughs> i don't know but yeah big up dave regardless um that new album out and now at the moment is fucking sensational if you haven't checked it out already definitely check it out absolutely amazing what was that song called i like the best and fire right with gigs and fredo fredo's got a flipping spectacular verse on there definitely make sure you check out the album from dave what's it actually called i forgot the name of it let's see if we can hover up and see it. this thing oh, it doesn't it doesn't say anything but regardless um dave's got a new album at the moment go and check it out if you're not that way inclined it should be on your streaming services right now